Good evening everyone, uh, Andrew here with you with a special episode of 3 Laps 3 Topics where I'm not going to talk about Formula 1. I know that's shocking that it's I'm playing Formula 1 and I'm not going to talk about Formula 1. But in the motorsport world this weekend, um, it's the big one. It's the Le Mans 24 Hours. Um, and yeah, I'm a big fan of sports cars. I've really got into it in the last couple of years. So I wanted to do a video about uh, what, what I reckon could happen at the, at the 24 this year and what I'd quite like to see happen at the 24 this year. Quickly about the race that you are watching. Um, it was one I recorded a few weeks ago. Um, it's a race around Barcelona in the McLaren. Um, are we on pole as well? Yes, we are on pole. Fantastic. Anyway, on to the Le Mans 24 hours. So the first thing um, I want to talk about, I'm currently listening to what was qualifying. Sadly, there's been a red flag. Um, I've just tuned in. I've just got in from... from uh, work and having my dinner so I'm a bit behind so someone unfortunately has, has had an accident there's a lengthy barrier repair so the second qualifying session has sadly been cut short it's um, from what I've seen so far this isn't the first time this has happened so it's going to be quite interesting to see how the teams cope with this because they're not going to get much dry running there's rain forecast for tonight um, so they're not really going to get a chance to run in the dry before the start of the race itself. But then again, there's weather, bad weather forecast for uh, the 24 hours whilst, whilst the race is on. So I think that's the first thing that, that could really throw the cat among the pigeons. I mean, it always does at Le Mans. Um, but I think particularly this year, where there's going to be lengthy... Um, periods of rain it's going to be really interesting to see how the teams cope with that and who comes out on top the one thing that I do hope is that we don't get a repeat of the Nürburgring 24 hours which brilliant race it it was just such a shame that it, they had to stop in in the middle of the night um, because the weather is too bad but I'm, I'm pretty sure it won't get to that extent so in terms of my tips and who I'd like to see do well. I'm going to start at the top, um, who I reckon is going to win the race and who I'd like to win the race. Um, I think the number two is going to win. Um, that's uh, Tom Christensen, Alan McNish and Loic Duval. Um, and it's one of, one of two cars that I'd like to see win as well. I'd really like to see... Alan, Alan, yeah, sorry, Alan McNish win another Le Mans 24 hours before he retires. He's had a brilliant career um, and he was unlucky last year not to win it. So, yeah, I'd really like to see him win. Or one of the Toyotas. I'm British. I like an underdog. Um, they've done an incredible job in their two years. They've been in um, the World Endurance Championship and the Le Mans 24 hours. Um, I just don't think they've, they've um, many, many other people. I just don't think they've got quite the pace um, to take it to the Audis. But you never know with the weather. Um, if Audi ever repeat of of last year, they had a pretty bad race last year. Um, the well, I think all three cars had trouble at some point or other. So you never know. Um, and of the two, I'm going to put my British hat on and I want Anthony Davidson to win. So, on to the final lap of the race and we've got a battle on here. Uh, we've got this Ferrari overtaking us and it looks like we're going to have a pretty stern battle with this French guy in the last lap of this race. Um, but whilst this is going on, I wanted to mention uh, GT Pro um, as one of the classes really to watch. Um, that's not to say that there aren't any bad classes at Le Mans. I think all all the classes are going to provide something really interesting. But I'm particularly interested in GT Pro because um, there's two of my favourite cars um, who I'd like to see do well in that class. And they're both run by Aston Martin. Um, I think Aston Martin will take the win. It's a question 
of um, as long as they all run well, um, which one of the three it will be. I would like it to say, oh, hang on. Now, what's going to happen with... Yeah, that's a justified penalty. That was a bit rash from me going down the inside. Um, and now he's overtaking me, so that's... Yeah, I can't really complain about that. But anyway, the two cars that I'd like to see do well. Um, the one with uh, Darren Turner, Stephen Mucker and Peter Dunbrecht. Um, I've met Darren Turner, he probably doesn't remember, but he's a thoroughly great guy. Um, and all the work he's done for that team, I think he deserves a win. Um, if it's not them, I'd like to see the Bruno Senna car do well. Bruno Senna going for the World Championship this year. Uh, I think it would be really, really nice to see the Senna name winning round Le Mans. So, there's going to be more of these videos, because um, I can't really get all my thoughts on the Le Mans 24 hours into one video um, but if you have enjoyed this video please be sure to click that like button um, and if you want to hear more from me um, both F1, Le Mans and different motorsports as well um, then please subscribe um, so yeah thanks for watching and enjoy the Le Mans 24 hour weekend